All right, welcome back. Um, so I, actually I was already pumping away. Uh, so I have my setup, pumping, uh, filling it up. And basically that's all you do. You just keep on filling it up until, until, until it squirts out or until it strips out. So basically I only use one, one bottle. And that was it. One bottle and it's, and it's already uh, right, dripping out. I thought I was gonna need two, but one is, is good enough. Um, so you guys see see all the all that you know, fresh oil coming out. That means it's full. Um, so. Drip up until it's you know until it empties. Um, so yeah, I only need one one bottle. I thought I need more, but that's okay. That's, you know, I'll, I'll save the other bottle for for the future use. Alright. So there it goes dripping. And let me cap that off. And let me wipe my. Uh, my oil pump, otherwise it's gonna get oil everywhere. I still have some left over. Let's see. I poured in, I think I only poured in about 800 milliliters. So basically about a, um, right, cause that bottle is, is 32, it's a one quart, it's, or basically almost a liter. So I uh, pumped in probably about 800 or so. That's usually good enough. I don't need to wait until it drips too much. Otherwise, you'll be waiting forever. So I just fill it in. Wipe this down a little bit. Yeah. So my my uh, my camera, the light went out because it's so hot. The you know it's been so hot today. So, you know it's like 100 degrees today. And being underneath the car is kind of warm as well, and and the battery wasn't fully charged, so it was charging. So when it's charging, it you know produces heat, right? So that got warm, and uh, then uh, uh, running, you know, operating, filming with the with the flash on, basically, that got warm. So that's why I got dark in the last video. Um, and it's actually it's actually cool it's actually cooled down. It actually turned on. The, the flash actually turned back on, so that's a good thing. I actually had to get an ice pack out and actually I put my uh, camera phone camera my iPhone on on the ice pack to let it cool down. So here uh, I'm not sure what torque it is. I think it's around like 12 foot pounds or maybe 15 foot pounds at the most. Um, but you know, remember the 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 uh, washer here is a is a ceiling washer. Aluminum, so it's soft. Um, so as you uh, tighten it, you actually feel it crush down a little bit, and that's when you know it's uh, it's tight. That's it. Crush down, it's tight. Um, that's it. So so that's good there. It's good there. It's full. So that's all you need to do as far as draining, filling it. Um, let's actually just look at our. Uh, or waste here and see how how dirty it is. Actually, it's not very. Well, you actually see metallic. See that all the swirls. That's the metallic. Right, that's the metallic. Um, you know, little bits of of metal. Um, well, actually, wasn't that it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that dirty. I don't think. So that's, you know, draining and filling the differential on the Miata. So real easy. Anyone can do it. If you don't have a car pit like I do, you're gonna have to um, somehow improvise and uh, um, 
when I get, get a really skinny bastard, you could maybe crawl in underneath. Uh, yeah, that's a pretty tight fit. I mean, I'm a skinny bastard, and it would be a tight fit for me. Or you could park it up on like a. Uh, you could park it up on like uh, some some like some rhino ramps, and uh, and maybe level out the car by jacking up the front end or something like that. Uh, or putting some boards on the front end so that way the car stays level. But but to fill this properly, it has to be level. All right, all right. That's it. So thanks for watching.